Reaction from uh, Yusek Pimentel. I agree. I agree with Professor Carlos not to call them communist. Kagaya ng katanungan, kung ang mga NPA ba ay kalaban o kaibigan, ang sasabihin ko, ang mga NPA ay Pilipinong nangangailangan ng serbisyo ng gobyerno. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Diaz. Uh, in going back to the NTFL Cup, I, I believe that if elected senator... to uh, promote my advocacy of total economic emancipation to the common Filipino. That could be a very good thing. Thank you. Let's hear from uh, Ms. Kiram. Oh, Yung tungkol naman sa kung ang NPA is kalaban or hindi. Sa nakikita ko, may pinaglalaban lang din sila. Hindi ko sinasabing ano sila ng gobyerno. Kaya lang may pinaglalaban sila na dapat pakinggan siguro ng national, ng, na, uh, ng gobyerno. Kasi mula noon hanggang ngayon, actually pawala na yung iba. Tayong, uh, sa mga generation namin pababa, hindi na alam kung anong ibig sabihin nun. So meron silang mga nire-recruit na mga mas bata. Tapos sumasama sila dahil may mga ideology na akala nila tama. Um, salamat. Quickly, Go ahead, just Dr. very Roy. quick. You've mentioned na uh, may nare-recruit silang mga bata. So basically, you're talking about child soldier, no? Or warrior child. Um, um, as, uh, if ever you be elected a senator of this country, how would you address that in terms of legislation? Siguro po general knowledge sa, sa mga um, sa schools, mm -hmm. sa mga bata, sa, pati na rin sa mga magulang na itong, itong, uh, itong kailangan turuan po yung mga nakakabata sa atin kasi uh, yung mga nag-aanong NPA or kung sino man na lumal, uh, kumakalaban sa gobyerno, may mga pinaglalaban yan. Kaya lang, ang problema, hindi alam. Hindi natin alam kung ano ba talaga. Nung unang panahon, yes, alam natin. Pero ngayon, hindi na kasi natin Salam. alam kung ano talaga. Anyone can answer the question about the issue of recruitment, no? Because they... Um, uh, she mentioned about um, recruitment of children no? uh, in terms of um, being child soldiers. So if elected as senators, how would you address that? Go ahead, Senator Harnasan. It's a very important issue no? when you talk about child, child's rights. Yeah. Dr. Rana, we might want to consider applying the power of information and communications technology mm -hmm. to improve our data management. Madidiscovery po natin yan, no? yung mga kandidato, na mapupunta sa Senado. Sa Senado po, kanyang-kanyang expert, kanyang-kanyang data. The COVID no, has allowed us to look at problems that, that existed before the COVID, which is data, baseline data management. It will tell us where they are recruiting the child soldiers. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, go ahead, uh, uh, Deputy Speaker Marcoleta. Bago ko sagutin yun, ay babalik tayo dun sa tanong ni uh, Dr. Carlos uh, kasi sina tinatanong niya, sino ba yung nagsabi ng communist insurgency? Sino po ba sa amin yung nagsabi, Dr. Carlos? Ako kasi actually hindi po nagsabi na. <laughs> so I'm being addressed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> siguro, dahil 75 na ako, baka nakalimutan ko kung sino nagsabi. So, <laughs> Salamat po. It's okay. Huwag na lang kayo pumamin. Okay. Basta natin ni Kuyo. Okay. Salamat. Halika okay. natin ang uh, uh, legislation uh, about may, the may, child may, soldiers. May, may, children, may I respond or... to Professor Carlos? Why some of us are... ...communist insurgency. We must remember that there is such thing as Communist Party of the Philippines. They call themselves communist. They adapted communism as their ideology. They are espousing this... Mm -hmm. ...espoused by communist leaders of yesteryears. That is the reason why one or some of us are using the word communist in surges. Yeah. My, my main objection in regard to that is you attach the term to the term insurgency. And so when you do that, I agree with you, there's a communist ng Pilipinas, uh, but um, my concern is when you define the insurgency in terms of that ideological framework, which is not the case. That is the reason why, because I'm a political scientist, I'd rather that you use a, a little bit more precise term. Let's just call it insurgency, please, because uh, it's not communist insurgency as communist.
Ang NPA ba, si PPNDF, kalaban ba o kaibigan? NPA, kalaban po yan. Dahil, that's who they are. Pero tama rin po yung sinasabi nila na marami po siya wala ng ideolia ng gugulo na lamang. In fact, most of them should be treated as criminals, no longer as NPAs. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Uh,